it's really inspiring to the students to come into the archive and then, you know, whoever is guest lecturing will pull out a gene or, or a contributor gene. And um, it really makes them think about the possibilities that they have to challenge whatever's been done before and uh, take it in a new direction. We wrote to all the people in the industry that we could get our hands on, asking them to contribute a gene which meant a lot to them with the story to the archive. And we also asked them to write us a letter. So we got a form uh, where they could hand in the, you know, their details and it's, I bought it there, da, 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 da. Mr. Lagerfeld sent us, not a letter, but this amazing picture of him in his incredible glamorousness arriving at the Chanel show at the Grand Palais wearing these rather smart trousers and this is the actual pair he's wearing the photograph and and when we showed this to one of our partners she said you know what i actually developed the prototype i have the 001 sample and i'll bring it so we now have both the sample the first sample and the actual garment worn and owned by mr lagerfeld and the cool thing is if you can catch it in the light it has this resin on it which shows the outline of his face. <laughs> Humble as he is, obviously. <clears throat> so there's a little, as it's seen on the logo, a little Lagerfeld face printed as a resin onto the garment, which then shows off on the light. So it's a black, a black pair of jeans until it catches the light, and then you see a thousand Mrs. Lagerfeld on the jean.